One of those parties sitting on the fence of the electoral threshold is Merritt's. And whether or not it makes the Knesset could affect the outcome of the entire election, mainly whether or not Netanyahu would be able to form a majority coalition. We are so lucky to be joined by Tamar Zanberg, member of Knesset and from the Meretz party. But before we speak with her, let's learn a little bit more about Meretz. Founded in 1992, Meretz is of the Zionist left of the Israeli political map and traditionally supports social equality, granting Israeli Arabs equal rights and a two-state solution. It advocates working toward peace by giving up the occupied territories and putting an end to the settlement enterprise. Meretz also supports the separation of religion and state and opposes religious coercion. The party defines itself as a social democratic party and supports the preservation and even the expansion of the welfare state. Now let's say hello to Tamar Zanberg, who is joining us live from Tel Aviv. Thank you so much for joining me today. Sure. Hi. Good afternoon. So, Tamar, the head of your party, Nitzan Horowitz, made uh, some controversial comments this week uh, about the new probe from the International Criminal Court in The Hague, saying Israel should take responsibility um, and that there might be grounds for that decision. I wonder if you agree with the things he was saying. Well, uh, it, might, it might be controversial uh, facing from the right, but um, I think that uh, what uh, Nitzan Horowitz has said um, is something that every Israeli should uh, think about. You know, we support the two-state solution and we oppose annexation, uh, first of all, for the sake of Israel, because this is the best uh, plan for its future, uh, and second, because this will, pre uh, this will uh, prevent us from being uh, interrogated by international uh, uh, tribunals like Hag or, or others. Um, we are the ones uh, saying that Israel should turn to another direction, sit and talk with the Palestinians rather than fight in ongoing rounds of violence uh, every few years, uh, stop building settlements and uh, stop uh, declaring uh, that uh, we intend to annex uh, the West Bank. Uh, and then uh, we will ensure a safer future for Israelis and also uh, be, and also prevent ourselves from being um, questioned and, and criticized by uh, international forums. So there's been a lot of talk um, that merits may not make it past the electoral threshold in this coming election, uh, which would be the first time since 1992. If that happens, what do you think that says uh, about the makeup of our country right now? I cannot imagine uh, such a situation. Uh, you know that uh, this coming elections is the first time since the uh, 80s that uh, the, the Kach, the party of Kahana, uh, is about to enter the Knesset. This is an organization that is de declared a terror organization in the US. Uh, and also is uh, forbidden from uh, running to the Knesset here in Israel. Now Itamar Ben-Gvir joined with Smotrich are about to enter back to the Knesset and Meretz, founded by the late Shulamit Aloni, the great warrior for uh, civil rights, uh, is uh, about to disappear. We cannot imagine uh, such a reality and this is why I'm sure that the Meretz, the left-wing voters, will come back home and uh, vote merits and save us from falling under the threshold. And I wonder if you could uh, expand on some of the possible alliances, coalitions that Meretz is looking to make in the upcoming government. Yes, Meretz as, as a left-wing party is seeking to uh, cooperate with other center-left uh, to create a big bloc uh, as, as strong as possible um, to join in a government that maybe will have some more more right-leaning factors, but could together form a, a government that will oppose annexation, that will oppose uh, um, hurting the Supreme Court and the, and the rule of law uh, of Israel, um, and will be able to push towards peace, social justice, and uh, the rest of our values. It's clearly uh, been a rough year for all of us, of course, with the pandemic. Uh, I wonder what you have to say about the government's handling of it, what they did well, and what you think they could have done better. Well, uh, personally, I think that some of the steps were, that, were, that were taken by professional uh, forums uh, were correct. I'm very proud as an Israeli in the uh, vaccination uh, operation that, that is uh, ahead of uh, every other country in the world. 
In the same time, I think that the pandemic and the health crisis met Israel in a very severe democratic crisis with the prime minister under severe corruption uh, indictments. And uh, that fact hurt tremendously in the trust and the faith that the Israelis give in their government, um, bringing to a reality where Israelis cannot trust and, and have no uh, faith in the, decision, the decisions that are um, that are being taken, and uh, many people feel that uh, the decision, the decision is are politically driven, rather than uh, um, professionally and objective. Uh, and I think this is a very good reason why a, demo a democracy cannot be run by a uh, corruption, uh, uh, someone who is who is being indicted in such severe. Uh, uh, allegations, and uh, I think that is a very good reason to form a new government. All right, Tamar Zandberg, thank you so much, and best of luck in the coming election. Thank you so much.